So the next thing is we're going to look at how to translate a given text into any language of our choice using Qlibot. So we can come back to Qlibot over here and just go ahead and select the translator. You can see the translator over here and you can just go ahead and specify the language that you want to paste in or if you leave it at detect language, it's going to automatically be able to detect which language you, you, you paste in and then you can select which language you want to translate to. So let's say we start here. We can just copy this introduction and this whole chapter one. Uh, this is introduction. So we can just come back to our kill bot and just paste in here. It's going to automatically detect that this is English language detected. Okay. So now the language you want to translate, you have to specify. For example, I want to translate it to um, something like Korean can just select Korean and this is introduction and this is the main main part. So all you need is once it translates, you can just go ahead, click on translate and it's going to translate. Once it translates for you, you can just come down here and copy. And from your Google Docs, if you want, you can create another different, uh, different kind of uh, document. You can see new document, assuming you want to change it to Korean translation of the book affiliate okay affiliate marketing so you can come down here and paste this is the introduction and then this is the first first paragraph then you can come back to the same book copy these two paragraphs and then you can go back to killbot zoom in copy everything paste in and then I can say translate and then you translate everything with just one click. You can just take a look at the speed. You can copy and then you can come back to the Korean translation and paste in. You can see you can go back to the main English document and copy the next two paragraphs. Okay. Come back to the killbot, select and paste and just say translate. And everything is going to be translated with just a simple click. You copy and then you can come back and paste. And then you can go back to the English version, copy, come back to Killbot, and just paste in, say translate, and it's going to translate for you directly. So you can just copy back to your Korean and paste it. Now, this is going to be the next one, is going to be a subheading. So I want to translate it separately. So let's say we select everything, including the subheading back to Killbot, select and paste. But then we know this is chapter one. So once you hit on translate, you can see everything is being translated, but we're going to bold this. So you can just copy back to this and you can just go ahead and paste. And we know this is chapter one and all that. So you can just copy and bold it a little bit. So we know that, and this is introduction also, we can bold it. Okay, so you can see now the book is coming or the text is coming as we like it. So we can copy this one, these two paragraphs. Come back to Killbot, select and paste, and then you can translate. You can see everything is translated. You can just copy back to here, select and paste it here. So basically this is how you're going to keep copying and pasting in Killbot and having it translated and copying and pasting back to the main book that you are translating. And before you know it, you have your complete book already translated to a very, very good, to another language completely. And the translation actually is very, very powerful and is very correct because I've tested it in different language and I try to translate back to English to see the meaning. Uh, for example, you can copy this sample, this same paragraph if you want to test the accuracy of Killbot. You can just come back here and paste in. It's going to detect that this is Korean. You can see it has detected that this is Korean. And now I want to translate it to English. So I'll translate to English and you can see it has just translated it to English. Now, if you read this and the first paragraph that we have here, you're going to see that it's going to make complete meaning according to what you have. So it's very, very powerful in the translation. It's something that you can trust. So if you want to translate your document into any language, you can go ahead and give it a try with this very powerful AI tool. So I hope you enjoyed this video on how to translate your text or your 
blog post or any document you have from any language into English or from English to any language. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.